Hi, I am Hugo Madeira and in this short video I will be sharing implant planning and guided surgery. Digital planning all the way. Nowadays, implant placement protocols are widespread among clinicians all over the world. Planning our implants virtually is the surgery of the present. It makes everything more reliable and you can position your implant prosthetically driven. Let's see how you can do it step by step. You might ask yourself, why should I use a surgical guide? Let's start by looking at what we need to produce a surgical guide. This is a 3D scan from the internal scanner, or otherwise you can send a conventional impression to a lab that will scan it and create the digital file for you. Second, a CBCT scan to visualize the anatomic structures and the bone quality to virtually plan the implant position. And third, a planning and a design software or a partner lab to plan and design the surgical guide for you. With this information, we can analyze the patient's condition before the surgery and evaluate the best treatment options. So, if you are doubting whether to use a surgical guide or not, our answer is yes. As reported by observational studies, with guided surgery, you'll have predictable results and increased patient comfort and satisfaction. Additionally, we have surgical advantages. The virtual 3D views of the bone morphology allow the surgeon to visualize the surgical bone site prior to implant placement. Risks such as inadequate bone support or compromise of important anatomic structures are avoided. Incorporation of prosthetic planning using a intraoral scanner allows the treatment to be optimized from a prosthodontics and biomechanical point of view. Other advantage is the possibility of having flapless surgeries with a better post-operative for the patients. It can also facilitate immediate loading by allowing pre-surgical construction of the provisional restorations. Now you might wonder about the time invests and the price of a surgical guide. Remember to also consider its benefits, including the accuracy and the predictability during the surgery. The workflow is not only more convenient for the team and patient, but also cheaper and more accurate. A huge cost saver. With the design software, you can customize the guide to your own preferences and needs. When you have the internal scan of your patient's mouth, you can send the STL file to a lab and plan the implant's position in a virtual way, as you will see in this video. There are different types of surgical guide designs related to the type of support we can have. A teeth supported, mucosa supported or bone supported guides. In teeth supported guides, it is important to realize that we should have at least three teeth available to have stability. A mucosa supported guide is used in edentulous cases and requires the scan of the prosthesis. Bone supported guides are used in partially or fully edentulous arches and you should have at least 3 mm of supporting bone. Always keep in mind that the teeth and the bone supported guides are the most stable ones, but you should always adapt the choice based on patient situation. This is the, the new one from uh, Strauman for our, the implants that we use, the bone level implants. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll start by here. In, the, in this area, we have the punch mucosa. After you remove the mucosa, we will need to start by this driver. These drivers, they have three uh, different highs, a high two, high four, and a high six. And this depends of the distance of the sleeve to our... Alveolar cord. Yes. If you have in the lab doc document, if you have one circle, a circle or three circles, and then if you have one line, two lines, or three lines, because it depends, uh, and it's going to depend on the bird that you use. So, so when you use this driver, it means that you will always have three millimeters here in this side and not one millimeter. We are using the three circles. Yeah, in this case, we'll start by this, this bar. So you go for three lines. So when the lab says to us that we will use three circles, we always choose this side of the drivers. Yeah. And when it says that we have three lines, we always choose yeah. this burst, the, the highest burst. Here you have for example, for, for the second burr, 
through. Yeah. And the final one, yeah. because we are going to put 3.3. Yeah, and the, the final one. Uh, an advice, please only, only start drilling when you are here, not put everything, not start drilling here, okay? But if you are doing two, two implants or more than two implants, for example, a full arch, you have this, these pins that can fix the guide. Mm -hmm. They are fixation pins. Yeah. yeah. This one. Like yeah. here, and fix the guide. And after this, you to have the, the, the implant driver, like this. First, we do the wax up of our final restoration. And then we can plan the implants. We yeah. can see the an anatomy of the bone and we can see all the anatomical structures like the nerve, the sinus if we want. Yeah, in this case, in this case uh, is the upper. So it's very important for us to see the angulation of the implant so we can we can choose the direction of the, the hole that will yes. be in the, the occlusal part. So the implant can be prosthetically driven. For sure. And in this case, we, we have a, a small root in the position of the future implant, so we can make the extraction, a virtual extraction, Yes. and then we go for the implant. Yeah, like this we have everything planned. It's, uh, our surgical procedure will be much more easier and yeah. predictable. And less invasive. And then, when you have the implants already planned, you can go for your designing of the surgical guide. As you said, you, we have three types of designs of the of guides. Course. In this Here case, we have we'll use our teeth for sure. Yeah. And because it's only one teeth, we can do like a, a small, a, a, a small template of the guides. Yeah, it's very important to, to have some small windows to make sure that our guide have a passive fit. Yeah. And because it's tooth supported, it's um, it's stable. It's a yeah. stable one. Now the question is, why should we enter in a guided surgery workflow? Comparing to the freehand implant placement, guided surgery allows reliable results for us and for our patients, delivering safer procedures. In this regard, surgical templates have enabled clinicians to deliver predictable surgical and prosthetic results. So, surgical guides increase the aesthetic and functional advantages of prosthodontic-driven implants.